Kumikarta from Migi right side and Hidari left side. Okay, so we'll quickly revise it five five times, five times right, five times left, five times Migi, five times Hidari. Okay, so that just for the uh, so that you should not forget, right? Because that is the basic like, essence of the judo. Because the way we hold the dress is very important for uh, making our technique successful, right? So just quick revision, okay? From right side, Migi, Re, one, two, three, and four, four, three, two, and one, Re. I just hope that you people are doing along with me. Correct? Come on. Re. Okay, one time I'll just uh, tell what exactly the steps we have to do. Come on. One, right foot forward. Two, left foot forward. Both the legs are in the same line. Maintaining shoulder distance in between your feet. Three, right hand normal grip, which is at shoulder level. Four, left hand lower grip, which is at elbow level. So four, left hand down. Three, right hand down. Two, left leg back. One, right leg back. While taking back, if you have observed properly, I've taken my feet, I've taken my foot back in a diagonal way, right? Because I have to join my heels for the day. And re. Come on, three more times from right side. Re. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Re. Okay, re. I'll just take the counts. Two more times. One, Two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Re. Okay, last time. Come on, quick, quick. Re. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Re. Okay, very nice. Well done. Well done. So I think from right side, gripping technique, that is Migi Kumikata, must be very clear till now. Correct? Now we'll move on to the left uh, kumikata, left side gripping technique, okay, hidari kumikata. Before that, I just want to recollect, I want to uh, revise it that I know many of you must have participated in competitions also, so you basically know how to grip exactly in the competition, but those, have, those who haven't participated, for them especially, this is the stepping which we are learning are just for the... Uh, developing our basics okay this in this way we don't uh, grip our opponent in competition in competition we have to directly go and grip the opponent okay i'm not telling that you run and grip just basic normally you have to grip the opponent correct but now we're learning the steps a uh, few of you must be having judo dress but others who don't have judo dress who haven't participated in competitions they must not be having a clear idea of exactly how they are supposed to hold it. So, for them, a quick revision. See, five fingers, we have to divide in three parts. These three fingers, okay, little finger and ring finger and the middle finger. Here, we have to put it here. Okay, see, I think you can see the collar, Eri. Collar is called as, uh, known as Eri in Japanese, E-R-I, Eri. You can clearly see the Eri now, I think. This portion is a bit, uh, what you can say, a bit tight one, okay, which we have to hold. These three fingers will be placed here, okay, basically here, like near the collarbone. Then this finger has to be there for the direction purpose, okay, for moving up opponent in which direction. So that is for the direction. And the thumb is for locking, okay, which will be inside, okay, like this. So the grip is like this, here. Okay, and similarly for the lower grip which we hold below our partner's elbow is these three fingers will be placed here. So these three fingers it actually goes inside. Okay, I think you can see inside. The fourth finger is for the direction purpose and the fifth thumb is for the locking. Okay, so don't hold your opponent uh, like uh, this. Okay, you have to hold it like this. Straight hand and then fingers. Okay, few people uh, uh, must be, I don't know, if they don't know, they must be holding it like this. No need of twisting your wrist. Okay, normal. Come on. Now let's revise the left side. Hidari gripping. Okay. Re. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Re. One, two, three, 
Rig one left foot forward, two right foot forward, both the feet in same line, maintaining shoulder distance. Three left hand normal grip, four right hand lower grip, four lower grip down, three normal grip down, two right foot back, one left foot back, and rig. Come on, three more times. I'll just take the counts now, okay? Rig one, two, three, and four, four, three, two, and one. Rig. Come on, two more times, okay? Ring. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Ring. Just check whether your heels are touched, students, okay? Last time from left side. Ring. One, two, three, and four. Four, three, two, and one. Ring. Okay, good. Okay, uh, well done. Good job. One more action we have practiced um, the last session and it was Ogoshi. Ogoshi, that is major hip throw from right side, correct? So, right side we will just practice, we will just revise and today I will teach you from left side, okay? So, right side, ray 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to hold from right side and stand, okay? That is, we have to do midi kumikata and stand. Correct? So these steps we are not going to do each and every time. So this is the basic posture for starting our Oboshi from right side. So one, right foot diagonally forward, right? Two, right hand in hip. Three, left foot, uh, left foot close to the right foot. Knees bent, backbone straight. You have to turn your wrist, right? Your wrist will be facing upwards, backbone straight. And for fourth, you have to straight your knees and pull your opponent with both the hands, right? Okay, I think clear, right? So we'll just go in one count because last class, last session we have done it in one count also. So I'll take one count, a quick 10 time revision because then we have to go for basically left side Oboshi today, right? Come on, hold. Five times I'll do along with you and then next five times I'll just take the counts You're, you will be doing. Itch. Knee, one, two, three, and four. Yes. Sun, one, two, three, and four. Come on, do like that. Kshi. You can take the counts in your mind so that it will be easy for you people. Ko, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Rook. Okay, come on. Carry on. Shich. Arch. Try to come back in the same position. Okay. Kir. Chir. Okay. A small trick to be remembered. See, this is a tie. So, I am starting from this line of the tie. I am going till this line. Again, coming back here. So, I am just covering a limited distance. Because in competition, in, uh, when actually your partner will be there in front of you, once the offline practice will start at that time you have only this much space in between to move okay my partner is going to stand here so I can just uh, adjust myself or do the movement only in this much space okay so try to do it in that compact way don't move anywhere else okay come on five more times itch knee Sun. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yes. Back. Kshi. Ko. Okay. Well done. Well done. So, same throw we will learn, we will do from left side. Hidari. Okay. Hidari Oboshi. Okay. Today, you will just first see, observe, and then later on you will practice. Okay. See. Left side gripping. Come on. This is my left hand. Correct. Left hand grip, right hand lower grip. Now first count one, you will take your left foot diagonally forward. Left foot diagonally forward, one. Second count two, you will put your left hand in partner's hip. Two, three, you will take your right, right foot forward. Now both the legs are in the same line. Uh, knees bent, backbone straight, rest, everything is same. And then wrist turn, lower, hand, lower grips, wrist turn. And then four, pull your partner from left side and knees will be straight. Again, back. Okay, 
one, go along with me, left foot for, uh, forward, diagonally forward, two, left hand in partner's hip, three, take your right foot closer to your left foot, knees bend, backbone straight and turn your lower grip wrist and four, pull your partner from left side with both the hands and straight your knees, again back, okay, well done, okay, good, so this is for today, we will practice this for 10 times right now and then we will wind up, okay, so hold, do along with me, one, two, three, four, Back, one, two, three, four. 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 Back, okay, single count. Okay, let's do it in single count now. H, one, two, three, and four. Just take four counts in your mind. Knee, sun, she. Yeah, everyone can do it in, in your own speed, okay? Ko, rook, shej. As said in the earlier session, do not skip any step. Aaj, if you skip your step, your throw will not be successful. Kir. Chir. Itch. Come on, carry on, continue. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Shitch. Arch. Kid. Chip. Okay, good. Good. So I think you must have got clear idea from the left side also. So this was Oboshi from left side. Okay, which I have learned today and we have practiced it today. So now the homework for, the, for you people to the next session is try to practice gripping but specifically try to practice oboshi. Make your hip throw from right and more give more uh, stress on left side. Okay because uh, many of you must be from righty so learning from right side is much easier than learning from left side and it's a vice versa for the lefties. So do practice from both the sides. And whichever side is uh, you are facing some difficulty in it, practice that side 10 times more than the other side. Okay, come on. Well done. That's it for today. So, get ready for Ray. Ray. Domari Gita Guzaimas and Sarunara.
ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಬುನತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಬುನತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಬುನತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿತ್ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 